Hello again, guys. All right, I got my gray mini up and running perfect. Got the tune on spot. Thanks to Adrian CL from NAM, the mini master himself. But it's uh, just in time for winter, so I don't get to enjoy it at all. But as of right now, you see I got a couple holes in the hood. I'm going to be installing these vents right here. They're actual vents, so they're gonna help vent. But uh, the paint chipped up a little bit on that one, a lot of it. So I need my hood repainted now. So my body guy has to come pick it up. But I wanted to go over the modifications on this car and explain it a little bit because uh, I've been getting some flack on this car telling me there's no way this engine's gonna survive A and B. These modifications don't exist. Well, I'm not here to bullshit anybody or lie. I, there's no point in that. Who, who am I fooling? What do I got to prove? None of you guys I've really met or will probably ever meet. So well, what do I have to prove? But anyways, this is a 2004 Mini Cooper S. Um, the body has 220 some thousand miles now. It's been repainted Nardo Gray. Um, its modifications consist of a Thumper TPR2 big valve head, an S1 cam, a Sneed for Speed intake manifold that I fully ported out, OBX 421 headers that I ported the flange on, and they're catless. It has NVIDIA exhaust. Yes, let me repeat that. NVIDIA exhaust. Oh, it's not on the tips. Let me see if you can see them. Uh, you can see them. Can't quite see the logo, but it is. And then um, it has a Sprint Tech supercharger, which is an aftermarket supercharger that makes more boost at lower RPMs. And I have that thing overdriven with, yes, it is a 60 millimeter pulley. That is correct. It only measures 60 millimeters because it ups the boost. It's the smallest pulley you can fit on that supercharger. And then on top of it, I have a 2% crank. So it runs about 21 pounds of boost. I also have a full three inch intake with a velocity stack in the front, a screaming demon coil, um, Nolo G wires, step colder plugs, 550 cc injectors, um, Detroit tuned bypass valve, and then it's got coilovers, um, those things, camber plates, strut bars, convertible strut bars, uh, rear strut bar, adjustable control arms, front and rear, adjustable sway bars, front and back. I've polyfilled all the stock bushings. Um, I mean, I, I've gone through the works on this car. As of right now, you hear that? I never have to worry about spinning a supercharger too fast and risk blowing stuff up because my water pump is not connected to my supercharger. It's an electric water pump. So I'll fire this one up for you guys. Let you hear how it sounds with the new NVIDIA exhaust on it now that I switched them. This car is so much more livable now. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Oh yeah, if you're wondering what that is, that is an intercooler sprayer. Sprays water across it when I go full throttle. Helps keep my IATs down, which are never bad. They're always great. I mean, it's cold out, but my car is just sitting. As you see, my IATs are 89. They won't spike much more above that either with it just sitting. And now with the car moving, and as it blows air across that intercooler, it, it runs much cooler. Well, I'll give a look on the interior. I did the carbon fiber dash and all that. Adjustable short throw shifter. Racing seats, they're just from eBay. They get the job done. Carbon fiber rear bar. Hey right, guys, she's getting put away for the winter. I'm just gonna be doing some body stuff on there. Finishing the hood project, putting the scoops in, having it repainted. And I have a leap diffuser coming I'm going to be installing. And I'm swapping out those side skirts for full length ones that are carbon fiber. So, I'll be posting back soon. Oh yeah, also, I have these new Firehawk Indies right here on these 16s. And I have the matching set on back order right now. And they'll be going on my baby. Well, other baby. So, alright guys. Have a safe winter. Happy holidays. Stay safe. Motor on.